Do you know how this is made? There's a theory that right-angled trenches can block a bomb's shockwave better than rounded ones, potentially saving more soldiers' lives. To put it to the test, Adam built two scale models out of acrylic, one with sharp right angles, the other with smooth curves. He filled them with a mix of BB oil, water, and food coloring, creating a clear oil and water separation. When stirred, the liquid showed ripples that could simulate wave movement. To keep things consistent, Adam rigged up a mechanical arm to stir at a steady rhythm. First up was the right-angled trench. After passing through two sharp corners, the ripples barely made it to the end. The liquid level rose only about an eighth of an inch. In the curved trench, the ripples flowed much more freely, raising the liquid level by a quarter of an inch. That suggested right angles could slow wave movement, but a gentle ripple is nothing like the raw power of a real explosion. So, it was time for the big test. Out in the field, they dug three full-size trenches, one straight, one with a sharp 90-degree bend, and one with a rounded bend. They lined each trench with brightly painted boards for easier post-blast analysis and placed pressure sensors every 10 feet along the way. First came the straight trench. The explosion tore through it, leaving total devastation. Sensor data revealed that straight trenches actually funneled the shockwave's energy, amplifying the destruction. Then came the right-angled trench. High-speed footage showed the blast slowing noticeably at the corner, and the sensors backed it up. Readings dropped sharply after the bend. Finally, the rounded trench. Here, the shockwave traveled more smoothly, hitting higher pressures than in the right-angled version. The verdict? Right-angled trenches do help block shockwave travel, giving soldiers a better chance of survival. Myth confirmed. 